In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Um, as you all know, on Friday we celebrated the Feast of the Apostles, which is the commemoration of the martyrdom of St. Peter and St. Paul. St. Peter was crucified upside down, and uh, St. Paul was beheaded. Um, and I want you to just think a little bit about these apostles. What was so special about them that they ended up evangelizing the whole world? As we've been praying the last few weeks, their voices went throughout the whole world. Um, do you believe that for the most part, there's not a whole lot of difference between them and you? Um, I want you to think about that. Today's gospel is, all the readings really this week have been about the apostles and the Lord sending the apostles. Um, and uh, today's gospel is from Luke chapter 10 when the Lord sent the 72 disciples to go through all the, the villages. And this time as I was preparing, I noticed something very interesting in the order of the events. <clears throat> Pay attention to this. So, I'm going to start from the latter part. This is from Luke 10, uh, verses 17 to 19. Then the 72, after they did everything, they returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. I was very happy when I found this, this uh, painting because it kind of reveals the, like, the, the, the happy shock of like, their experience of what happened. So they already went and did as he told them, and it was a very successful mission trip. And our Lord confirmed this because he responded saying, it says, and he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I saw him fall. Khalas. It's done. Okay. But look at what he tells them in verse 19. Behold. Listen. Pay attention. I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions on over all the power of the enemy. Did you notice that? This is, in this gospel, this is the first time that he tells them that he has given them the authority. When they went out, they didn't know that he gave them the authority to do this. He said, go out, and they went. He said, go, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, and cast out demons. Like, uh-huh, what? Okay. He said it. Halas, that settles it. He didn't tell them anything else. Look at, at the text when he sent them out. This is now we're going back in the beginning of the chapter in verses um, 2 to 4. He told them, the harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into the harvest. Okay. Go your way. Behold, I sent you out as lambs among wolves. Okay. Carry neither money bag, nor knapsack, nor sandals, and greet no one on the, road, on the road. You didn't notice that? He didn't tell them anything about, don't worry, I'm giving you authority. Don't go and, and everything will go great because I'm going to be doing this work through you. or whatever. He just said go and do it. Something they have never done before and they have no idea what it is that they're supposed to do. He just said go. And as a matter of fact, he did the exact opposite. He sent, I sent you out as lambs among wolves. They're like, Lord, um, so we know you grew up as a carpenter, but surely you know what wolves do to lambs, right? It's like their favorite snack. Uh, it, what is this, sending us as lambs among wolves? I don't, I don't like this. This is scary. This is unknown. This is, I don't know this. I can't do that. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yep as lambs among wolves. And not only that, don't take with you money or sleeping bag or pack anything with you. Just go. And also, don't make friends on the road because I don't want other people to go with you and help you and do stuff or anything with you and you think yeah, and you rely on them. Allah. Why, Lord? He says, I want you to go out just as you are. I don't want you to rely on any experience. Mind you, this is pretty early in the book of uh, Gospel of St. Luke. Luke is 27 chapters. This is early in their journey with him, in their experience with him. It's not, not a whole lot has happened when he sent them out. And they haven't really much, built much experience. He said, I don't want you to rely on experience. I don't want you to rely on 
material things. I don't want you to rely on your education. I don't want you to rely on other people. I don't want you to rely on knowing that I have given you authority to do this. Very interesting. I don't want you to know that I've given you the authority to do this. Okay, Lord, <laughs> what do you want us to rely on? I mean, come on, give me something here. I want you to rely on the fact that I told you to do it. Bess. I told you to do it. That's enough. I want you to rely simply on the fact that I commanded you to do this. Huh? Listen, if a company or anybody hires a laborer to do a certain task, he will give him the tools that he needs to do it. Do you agree? I hope you do. So, look at our um, Lord's word uh, choice. And, and when, he, when he told them this, let's go back and pay attention to the words. It's verse 2. He says, The harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. He didn't say, pray the Lord to send out experts. Pray the Lord to send out theologians. Pray the Lord to send out amazing preachers, super persuaders, great evangelists. No, just laborers. That's usually like the worker, you know, like the bottom, any, any kind of odd job that you want to have done. I just want those. Okay. What tool or equipment is he giving them to do the commandment that he gave them? It's simply his commandment. That's enough. That's all you need because when he assigned you to do this thing then he's going to give you exactly what you need the commandment itself is the empowerment pay attention to this because the bible is full of commandments and i know the majority of them you're thinking there's no way this is so hard he engaged you to do it. He appointed you to do it. He commanded you to do it. He assigned you to do it. He hired you to do it, if you will. That's it. That's all you need. That settles it. Just go. Just go do what he told you. Type, uh, give me a script to tell the people. No, tell, give me some tools. Tell, give me some money. Give me some talent. Shh. Be still. You don't need those things. You would need those things if, you're, if you were to look at what you can do. A lot of the times, my brethren, we choose not to do certain commandments because we can't see ourselves being able to do them. So it's very understandable that we don't do them. We don't even try. We can't imagine ourselves doing those things. But that's the mistake is we're looking at what we can or cannot do. We're not looking at, he commanded it, that settles it. So that, that in of itself is the empowerment to do this. Simply by my commanding, our Lord's commanding you to do it, he says, I have already given you what you need. Last Sunday, we were faced with a very difficult commandment. You remember that? Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. Go as lambs among wolves. You know what I'm saying? Lord, how? This is so hard. I can't do this. I already commanded you to do it. You just go and do it. Don't think too much. There's like so much that God asked us to do, but what we didn't realize is that in the simple fact that he commanded us to do it, he already empowered us or gave us the authority to do it. All I have to do is to go do it. When, be, be, before the ascension, when he told them, go throughout all the nations and tell them all that I have taught you and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and lo, I am with you until the end of the age. And then he left. Halas. That's all they needed. 
So, when he says things like, take up your bed and walk, uh, did you notice that I've been paralyzed for about 40 years? Shh, stick up your bed and walk. Why did these people, why did that guy take up his bed and walk? Because he, he proceeded to do it. He didn't think about it. Khalas, God said it, that settles it. Stretch out your arm, the one with the withered hand. Same thing. Open your eyes. Lazarus, come forth. Talitha, call me. All of these, even the paralyzed, even the crippled, the blind, even dead people can do what he tells them to do because when he says the commandment, that's all you need. You look at what you can do, you're not going to do much. So, can you tell me when he tells you things like, Love someone else sacrificially. Go and serve. Sacrifice. Forgive. Turn the other cheek. Deny yourself daily. Carry your cross. You're like, what? All these things are as good as done. Because he told you to do it, so he's going to give you the authority to do it. You just need to do it. Don't think too much about it. If you don't do it, that's totally on you. May God open our eyes and the eyes of our hearts and give us the faith to rely solely on Him as we follow His commandments, which are our empowerment and are more than enough. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.